day because of whatever situation. And I was like, okay, but that's fine, you know. So I kept him. Thursday, I called her and asked, was she at home? She said, I'm about to go to work. I said, okay, well, do you got somebody else to watch him? Because if you don't, then I just wait till you get off work. She's like, yeah, you can bring my brothers here. I took him home. Your boyfriend, uh, your boyfriend, fiance? No, he's my husband. We're married. Oh. He's she, not my boyfriend. He's not my fiance. He's my husband. Does she know that? Yes, she knows. Oh, they oh, didn't okay. even come to the wedding. Oh, they didn't come to the wedding? Him or his mother. Okay. Well, and, so that's why I say the uh, jealous part. And is it because of this whole incident? With no, the they just made this incident out of... They took this incident and made it out of what they've been wanting it to be, but this was just an excuse for them to do it. Because, like I say, they got access to me. It took me to come on the show to find out that she even said that I think she did. I'm like, wait, what? You know. So that all were you, was good. Were you, but were you curious at your wedding that, you know, a lot of his family members Oh, yeah. There? They put it on Facebook. They put what on Facebook? That they wasn't coming to the wedding and that he's stupid if he married me. Why and why weren't why why did they say on Facebook why they weren't coming to the wedding? Um the mother put the day before on Facebook that she wasn't coming to the wedding if he married me and she was done with him because I broke his nephew's arm and that we're gonna get everything uh that Tierra's going through, all kind of now this had to be, well, so you kind of had a little clue why you. But were I here. never knew that she. Oh, that said it. You know what okay, I'm saying? Like right. I even went to the um, when she went to court or whatever. So I was they there. had to put a little damper on the wedding, right? Right, and by her kids already being in the system. Your husband's for mom didn't reason. come to the wedding. No, but by her kids already being in the system, that's why it was so hard on her for the whole situation. Period. It ain't just because of the incident with the baby. It's because she's been in the system. Right. So that made them look like what. You know, you some keep happening with you. That's why they took force so, and took this wasn't like the that. This wasn't this the not first, the first time. time. Okay. Okay. See how the picture gets painted a little different. Your husband, who I thought was your fiance, but your guys is my husband. We got married August 9th. Congratulations. Thanks. Um, <laughs> um, let's bring out your husband. How you doing, Roderick? How's it going? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Um, kind of a crazy story, right? Yeah, it is. Uh, you know, you're an uncle to the little boy whose arms broke. Yeah. And I got to imagine you love your nephew just like I love my nephews, right? Yeah. Um, the little boy gets taken to the doctor, and the doctor says, this was intentional. Uh, somebody had to break the boy's arm. I'm pr you know, two-month-old, can't jump, you know, can't run, can't get into trouble or break his arm. Uh, you have any explanation how this child could have got a broken arm? Uh, well, I can uh, say, uh, first of all, me and my wife, we the godparents. Uh, You're the godparents a little yeah, bit. Yeah, um, we one day babysitting turned out to a few days because we care about my nephew and I'm active in my sister, other kids' lives as well. But it was just, she have a new baby, new job, so wanted to relieve her. A lot, a lot on her yeah, shoulders. One, and me and my sister, we pretty close. I had two sisters. She the younger sister, so we pretty close with each other. And, um, man, it was just, uh, we had the baby for a few days. We went to drop the baby off at my mother's house. Uh, Janika stayed outside. Uh, I stayed in the house the whole time. I was there for a few hours. A lot of family members were there and everything. And my sister said she noticed something about the baby. So I went and to check out what was she saying. And I was like, well, when she asked me, what did I see about the baby? And I was like, what do you mean? The baby looked like a baby. So she was saying the baby arm, you don't notice anything about the arm. And I looked at the arm and I was like, whoa, yeah, the arm do look kind of, you know, it don't look how it's supposed it to look. look healthy. So she said she was going to take the baby to the hospital. So she took the baby to the hospital. I stayed there. We had a lot of family members there. I said, well, let me know because I'm not, the last thing on my mind is they, they go tell her something that she don't want to hear and what we don't want to hear. So uh, she called me. I kept texting her and calling her. She called me and let me know that they said that they holding her baby because that the situation looked like it wasn't an accident. It right. looked like it was purposely done. Right. So right then and there, I'm scratching my head, like, purposely done, like, who will hurt a baby? You wouldn't do it. I wouldn't do it. You wouldn't cover up for her. I wouldn't cover up for her, and I know my sister wouldn't. You do wouldn't it. watch your or your fiance break your 
nephew's arm and then marry her. No, no, I wouldn't do that. She nothing to me, but you still shouldn't marry her until you found out what happened to my baby. When she picked our baby up out that car seat, that baby screamed and cried. She did something to my baby. Let me tell her what happened to our baby. Has someone ruined your life? Do you need help confronting them? Call 1-888-STEVE-07. She nothing to me, but you still shouldn't marry her until you found out what happened to my baby. When she comes out, you know, she paints you as very, you know, shady person. Yeah, so. Uh, but then when you guys tell the story, it seems like, you know, maybe it's just not cut and dry what she's saying. Uh, well, it's, it's just like, like I said, when my sister told me that the doctor said that it wasn't an accident, I instantly just start thinking outside of the box. What could have happened to this baby? I know I didn't do it. I didn't see my wife do anything. And then, like I say, like. Did you ever leave the child alone with where, you know, around a bunch of kids running around or something? I have two kids. Yeah, right. But and I mean, a two month old baby wouldn't be laying on the ground with a bunch of kids, right? No. no. Okay. No, and, uh, and it was like when my sister said that it would, the doctor said that. It wasn't an accidental thing, so and they said she also said that the doctor said it wasn't the act of a child. It was purposely done. It could have been done by an adult. Right. So I took my two children. Uh, I have uh, two children, girl and boy, and I asked my my daughter, um, "Did you see your mother hit the baby? Did you hit the baby?" And I asked her, "Did her brother hit the baby?" I asked her. And I asked him individually. Right. Because I didn't want to ask them both together because she can blame it on the other one. He can, you know. Sure. So I asked my daughter, and she said no to each question. Then I asked my son, and I said, did you see your mother? And you have no idea what happened. And I, n the only reason why I was asking was because my sister uh, notified me that it was an act of a child. Right. So I'm asking my kids now, and I'm asking my son. And my son said, when I asked him every question I asked my daughter, my son told me that he picked the baby up and dropped the baby. Oh, your son said that. So I took my son and took him to my sister. And I told my sister to ask him, ask him whatever you want to ask him. I didn't stage him through this thing. Ask him whatever you want to ask him. He's going to tell you the same thing he just told me. So from that point, it was just like, I didn't even think to ask my, my son because I wasn't even aware that the baby was hurt. So from, uh, from that point on. So your son told you I was holding the baby and I did drop him. He said he, he, said he picked the baby up. And he dropped the baby. I know. So, yep. So, right. so the conclusion I came up with with this whole thing was it's a possibility the baby got hurt at our house, and we not aware that the baby was hurt, and we went to drop the baby off. The arm could have got worse. And, and now, which is really not even part of the story, but it's part of your life. This happens. Your whole family is kind of looking at your wife, right? Yeah. Yep. Your mom is saying she's not coming to your wedding.